these companies that I'm looking at, one of the things that's important to me is that they're continually investing in the product. Yeah. Because I feel that if you're not investing in the product, we can have a heck of a sales team, but it's, it's still not going to matter because retention, you know, exactly because right. of that. So that's the number one thing you should look for. That's the number one thing I would look for if I was going to a startup is I would ask that question about how they think about R&D, what the product roadmap looks like, but I would also go to Crunchbase and yes. I would look at who their investors are. Okay. I can tell you who your investors are has a massive impact on your ability to raise subsequent rounds. So if you go and you look at their investors are, because then you can click on Crunchbase and see the other investments those companies have made, and you go and look and maybe they've made a handful of investments or whatever, or the port, you know, the people have done some interesting things, mm -hmm. and that's all their investors. Versus someone's raised from a tier one VC. If you raise your Series A or Series B from a tier one VC, mm -hmm. the chances you don't raise your next round are like fucking zero. Okay. I mean, they're not literally zero, but no, they're pretty damn close. So I don't think enough people. I got really lucky at Glassdoor. I didn't know shit about the startup world. Mm -hmm. It just so happened that they had raised from the best of the best and had the best people on the board. I took the opportunity. I didn't do that due diligence, and that's a mistake I see a lot of sales leaders make. They get sold on the company and the idea. I got lucky, very, 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 very lucky. Because I, I didn't do my due diligence, yeah. and I wish, and, and I was just in this room with these like massive heavy hitters in board meetings, and not realizing how fortunate I was. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think not enough sales leaders look at that. They, they look at that, and so when you when you think about that. Um, I would look at who they raise from because it, it just makes it makes life easier.